Question 10. The graph shows two functions, y equals f of x and y equals g of x. Define h of x equals f of g of x. How many stationary points does y equal h of x have for x greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 5? h of x equals f of g of x, which is a composite function. And to differentiate composite functions, the chain rule needs to be applied. h dash of x is equal to the derivative of f of g of x, which is equal to the derivative of the outer function, which is f dash of g of x, multiplied by the derivative of the inner function, which is g dash of x. Now to find the stationary points, we let h dash of x equal 0. And that occurs when either f dash of g of x equals 0, so that term of the product, or g dash of x equals 0, this term of the product. So either one of those two has to equal 0, so we'll consider both cases, case 1 and case 2. Consider case 1, where f dash of g of x equals 0. If we go back to the original graph, let's have a look at y equals f of x, and we can see that there's a stationary point that occurs when x equals 1. In other words, f dash of 1 equals 0. So going back to case 1, f dash of 1 equals 0 implies that g of x must equal 1. After all, it's f dash of g of x equals 0, and g of x must equal 1, since that's where the stationary point occurs. Now, where does g of x equal 1? And that occurs twice in the domain x between 1 and 5. So if I go back to the original graph, I've marked that in. So g of x equals 1 here and here. And it's f dash of 1 is where the stationary point occurs on the curve y equals f of x. So two stationary points occur there. Now let's look at case number 2, g dash of x equals 0, and that one's straightforward, and that occurs at x equals 3. So if we go back to the graph, y equals g of x, so g dash of x equals 0 at this point at the vertex of the parabola. So that's where the third stationary point occurs. Hence, h of x has three stationary points, and therefore the answer is option D.